Hello there, and welcome to Pets of Plenty. Today on the channel, you'll learn about the Tring Walker Coonhound, a famous American breed known for its intelligence, bravery, and common sense in the field. We've gathered all this information to help you make an informed decision if you find yourself drawn to this beautiful dog. Before we continue, though, we would love for you to become a member of the channel by clicking on the Join button down below. You can also review the perks of Pets of Plenty membership after clicking the Join button. Now, let's get into the video. The Breed's History The Tring Walker Coonhound was developed by breeding numerous hound dogs with English foxhounds. Firstly, let's tell you more about the meaning of its name. Tring is when a dog tracks down its prey and chases it until it takes refuge in a tree. The hound then camps out below and barks in its own distinctive manner until the armed hunter comes. The name Walker is a nod to Thomas Walker, a Virginian who played a pivotal role in the breed's development in the mid-1700s. Coonhound refers to dogs bred expressly to tree raccoons and some sometimes more prominent species. The treeing walker was initially classified as an English coon hound. Still, breeders began making significant changes to the breed around 1945 to preserve the most essential traits. The breed's evolution in the United States began in the 1750s and picked up steam in the 1800s. These dogs were highly sought after in the hunting world for their relentless persistence and lightning quickness. They would wait in a tree with their victim, typically a raccoon, and use loud voices to signal to the hunters below. Before World War II, this dog was known as an English coonhound. At that time, the United Kennel Club granted the breed its formal recognition. This was followed by the American Kennel Club in 2012. Appearance their gorgeous look makes it easy to see why the breed is so popular. A treeing walker coonhound typically weighs between 50 and 70 pounds. The treeing walker coonhound has a broader cranium than most other dog breeds. The snout is quite long and thin. The breed's glossy coat is silky to the touch, and its colors may range from tricolor to bicolor. They might be any combination of black, tan, white, or two or three solid colors. People often mistake the treeing walker coonhound for a huge beagle. The pendants of his ears are big and droopy. The eyes are big and brown, with a kind, loving look. They have a droopy upper lip that rests on their chin. The tail is of average length and is carried high. Temperament the Tring Walker Coonhounds are family-friendly, mild-mannered dogs. The breed is tough enough to survive in the great outdoors, but they come into their own when they're invited to join the family and spend time indoors. For a lively household, a Tring Walker Coonhound is the ideal pet. This breed is known for its loud bugle bark and stubbornness, yet its kind temperament makes it a good training dog. Since they're so prey-driven, these canines should never be allowed to go free. The breed is quite delicate and reacts poorly to rigorous treatment. It's crucial to start acclimating him to new people and situations as soon as possible. They don't seem to be hostile or very territorial. They get along okay with other dogs, but their high prey drive isn't the best with other pets. As befits a working dog, the Tring Walker Coonhound takes great pleasure in working for and pleasing his people. Socialization the treeing variety of the coonhound is not known for being very hostile. However, their natural hunting tendencies may cause them to mistake tiny domestic pets for prey. When they receive enough exercise, treeing walker coonhounds can live with their owners in an apartment. Their loud habits, however, might be a nuisance to others nearby. As long as they have been appropriately socialized and trained, treeing walker coonhounds are known to be loving family pets. Grooming Treeing walkers need almost little upkeep because of their unique genetics. The short coat of this dog sheds just a little, but is very good at keeping dirt at bay. Brushing once a week can keep your fur in good condition. During periods of increased shedding, you may need to brush more often than once a week to collect the stray hairs. Dogs often only need to be bathed on a sporadic basis. However, this obviously depends on how filthy your dog becomes. To assist in maintaining cleanliness in between bathing, try rubbing your dog down with a damp towel. Tartar and gum disease may be avoided by brushing the dog's teeth weekly. The ears of a hound should be checked and cleaned regularly for symptoms of ear infection and to remove any buildup of wax or debris. Long nails may be painful for the dog and could cause structural damage if they aren't cut every couple of weeks. Grooming time with the person he loves will be something the treeing walker looks forward to. A weekly inspection will reveal any problems, so do well to keep it up. We will also like to mention that it's okay not to groom your dog dog yourself if you don't have time for it. You can always contact a professional to get the job done from time to time. Exercise 
The treeing walker, like most other types of coon hounds, is a high-energy breed that loves to run. He needs regular mental and physical stimulation, which he may get from romps in the backyard, chasing a ball, and playing with human and canine pals. We advise you to give them a minimum of two hours of daily exercise. Active games of fetch, running, and hiking are all great ways to bond with your coon hound. They may turn to harmful behaviors without adequate physical activity like acting out or breaking things. A strong prey drive means that the treeing walker has to be restrained on walks and treks should he follow an intriguing smell. Therefore, you should confine them whenever you leave the house or behind a sturdy fence. They are adept at climbing fences because of their aptitude to pursue prey in trees. Training this treeing walker, as a dog coonhound, has a high IQ and a strong desire to learn and please its owners, but also a defiant, headstrong character. It's never too early to begin training and socializing. When your dog is old enough, enroll him in a puppy obedience class so he may meet new people and experience new things. This breed has a strong hunting drive and may be aggressive against smaller pets like cats that it mistakes for prey. Due to their high intelligence, treeing walkers are easy to teach new tricks. This might make a dog seem stubborn to to a trainer unfamiliar with the coonhound mind. Training sessions should be engaging and rewarding for the dog so that the dog learns to associate positive conduct with receiving goodies and positive attention. Maintaining uniformity in your instructions is key to avoiding the development of undesirable routines. Diet and Nutrition your treeing walker coonhound should thrive on premium dog food, store-bought or homemade under your vet's supervision. Find out what kinds of human foods your dog can eat and what types he can't. Always remember that a dog's diet, whatever it may be, ought to be age-appropriate, be it a puppy, adult, or senior. In addition, provide high-quality, well-balanced dog food and access to potable water must always be available. Owners must keep an eye on their hound's calorie intake and weight if the dog isn't actively working. While treats may be a helpful teaching tool, excessive doling out might lead to weight gain. If you're worried about your dog's nutrition or weight, it's best to see a veterinarian. Health Although most coon hounds are healthy, they are prone to the same genetic disorders that affect other dog breeds. Not all coon hounds are prone to these diseases, but it is essential to be aware of them if you consider adopting one. Reputable treeing walker breeders take precautions to prevent genetic disorders like hip dysplasia and ocular abnormalities from appearing in their puppies. Additionally, treeing walkers are susceptible to ear infections due to their floppy ears. Ticks prefer to hide in the folds of a coon hound's ears, so inspect them whenever he comes in from the outside. If you examine the ears and remove any buildup of wax or debris at least once a week, you can keep those pesky ear infections at bay. It's a great idea to regularly check on your dog to ensure general wellness. How often do you do this? Let us know in the comments section. Consider becoming a member of the channel by clicking the join button to get early access to our upcoming videos plus other membership perks. Also, check out our playlists and click on the video links that pop up at the end of this video. Thank you for watching.